Thanks, Missy. Hello. Um, I have to apologize for this first slide, but it is uh, required. This presentation is intended to provide general information only and is not involved in any personalized investment, financial, legal, or tax advice. In addition, any security must be offered in compliance to state and federal securities laws, and investors should read and understand any offering stock prior to making an investment decision. The description of any securities in this presentation, whether real or conceptual, should not be construed as an offer to buy or sell, or solicitation of any offer to buy or sell any security mentioned herein. Past performance may not reflect future results, and no representation is made that any investment will or is likely to achieve its investment objective, or that any investor will avoid incurring substantial losses, including loss of principal. Information presented is believed to be factual and up to date, but its accuracy is not guaranteed, and should not be regarded as complete analysis of the subject's success. And no animals were harmed in making this presentation. <laughs> Back in 2008, 2009, and in the midst of the last stock and bond market meltdown, a friend asked me about investing in local businesses. How can a person of modest means invest in a way that avoids the complexity, anonymity, and short-term focus of the mainstream financial markets, he asked. After giving him a list of ideas ranging from buying municipal bonds, a community benefit tonight's sponsor specializes in, and real estate, to using local banks and credit unions, as well as supporting local nonprofits and buying local, I wondered, can we chart a course that everyone can follow using genuine local investment? As it turns out, there are some locally focused investment alternatives to the publicly traded stock and bond markets available to everyday people. In fact, right here in Bozeman, just a few years ago, our local food co-op raised over a million dollars in about six weeks, and the new East Main and the new East Main Street store is now one of the anchor establishments downtown. So why aren't opportunities like the co-op's member loans more widely available? The Securities Act of 1933 makes it very difficult for most people to make investments in privately held companies. Unless you're an accredited investor with consistent income of $200,000 per year or a million dollars liquid net worth, you won't make the cut. But what if everyone could invest in local businesses? Would anyone want to do that, even if they could? What types of businesses could people invest in? And do business owners even want or need this type of financing? How would it work? What would it take to set up the structure? And is it even possible? What outcomes might we expect? Before we get too focused on specifics, let's think about the implications of making it possible for nearly everyone to invest in local businesses. Maybe broadly available local investment opportunities could give us greater control over how our communities grow and develop and give us additional reasons to love the communities where we choose to live. For years, we've heard about the benefits of buying local, in part because the money we spend locally recirculates between two and seven times throughout the community. Otherwise, more than 80% of it likely goes to some offshore corporate headquarters. How might direct local investment benefit individual stakeholders and communities. One idea, Solar Mosaic, gives people in certain areas the ability to lend money and receive interest payments and a return of principal to help finance solar installations. Also, there are zero interest crowdfunding sites like Kiva Zip and Community Source Capital where people lend five to fifty dollars or more to businesses and receive their money back over a fixed period of time. Others like the Calvert Foundation lend money to businesses and NGOs throughout the world. They've recently targeted a few inner cities here in the U.S. as well. Their community investment notes pay a rate of return similar to a certificate of deposit, but without the uh, FDIC guarantee. And other community development financial institutions allow every everyday investors to participate. Another idea, Slow Money's local investment clubs finance small-scale agricultural operations and return investor capital with interest payments. Participation in these investments is generally open to all members where a club is established. Slow Money Maine's No Small Potatoes Investment Club provided merely $10 million in financing. But one idea that still hasn't become available is a local investment fund for either accredited or non-accredited investors, where local people can invest in local independent businesses, not just for the community benefit, but also in anticipation of a, of a financial return. If we dive into greater detail, what if interested state residents could put $3,000 into a fund to help finance 10 to 15 local independent businesses? In return, investors would receive annual interest payments based on the company's gross revenues and a final distribution when the fund liquidates at the end of 10 years. Let's picture XYZ Company that makes its products from raw materials found right next door. That company distributes its products throughout the country and provides good jobs along with significant community benefits. Let's imagine the company has an opportunity to expand its market, but it needs $50,000 of new equipment and more space for its operations. Now let's imagine this company can't grow and may lose their market share to competition under current conditions. But once their equipment and space issues are addressed, 
they could potentially double their revenues within three years. The rub? They can't make payments on a loan with their current cash flow, and they don't really want to sell part of their company to outside investors. So what if people in a community, through a local investment fund, were able to come together and help finance this company's growth in exchange for a portion of company revenues for a period of time until the amount of money paid back to the fund and subsequently to investors met a certain reasonable rate of return? What if local, invest, local residents could help a local company prototype a network of virtual sidewalk kiosks or help grow a local distribution enterprise focused on exporting Montana products throughout the country or help a locally founded business provide a constant supply of sustainably sourced and biodegradable babyware worldwide? What if everyday people could invest like this throughout the country? What if cities and towns all over the place could each have their own local investment funds to help finance businesses that not only provide good paying jobs, but that contribute positively to their communities as well? Just imagine. Maybe the types of businesses that are financed consciously minimize waste generated through their operations to lower their impact on a local landfill and water treatment facilities, thereby lowering all of our taxes. Or maybe they provide paid time off for employees to volunteer for local nonprofits that provide essential support services for members of our community. Just imagine. This alternative does not yet exist, but pending regulatory approval, we hope to see this idea piloted here in southwest Montana, starting right here in Bozeman. Local people could participate directly in local economic development in a way that not only benefits the companies and those of us who invest in them, but our community as well. Thank you.